Hi Dylan, this is Jim Gillis with Win My Vote, and sorry I don't have my camera on right now. Actually, I have it on, but it's not working with this screen capture software for some reason. Uh, but wanted to show you this as soon as possible. I think that this is the site that will get money out of politics. Um, the reason behind that is because I think when the voter is able to organize and manage their vote, then advertising, you know, uh, is undercut. It has less and less and less of, uh, as an, an effect. And to give you an example, we did the National Student Parent Mock Election in 2016. It was about 5 million teachers and students throughout the country. They all got one of these ballots, and they were all able to you know, look at each one of the candidate profiles. They were able to you know, click on Jill Stein, and they were able to hear directly from her. I would feel terrible if Donald Trump gets elected, and terrible if Hillary Clinton gets elected. Donald Trump says despicable things, but Hillary Clinton has a terrifying track record. Catastrophic wars, helping destroy the social safety net, creating mass incarceration. And they can also scroll down and see individual issue statements that the candidate has created. Uh, they can see groups and organizations and individuals that have endorsed this candidate. Um, and by the way, we have a new candidate profile that's that you can, or you're able to drill down even deeper, and we've partnered with some groups and organizations where you can check on things. And uh, but you know, the the idea is to have it all in one place, all on a level playing field, where spending more money is not going to help Jill Stein at all. She has one profile, uh, and that's it. So I can favorite this candidate here, or I can go back to my ballot, uh, and I can favorite the candidate here. Uh, and when I do that, the nameplate turns green. She'll move to that first position, which will make it easy to see on my phone or my tablet. Um, and then I can go on to the next race. I can also comment on this race. I can watch the debate video. I can share it on social media. I can create a group, endorse Jill Stein, and then share that with my friends so that they can you know, hear more of an endorsement about what I think about it. Um, and then I can scroll down. Um, now, obviously, the president's race is sort of you know front of mind, so... Uh, it's valuable, but it's not quite as valuable when you start, you know, as these lower races here. So if I go down to say, you know, the school board race, now I can see that there's seven candidates running for school board. Um, I I'd heard of Rachel Norton uh, as well as Ian, um, and and I even heard of Matt. I don't know that much about him, but the rest of these guys I've never heard of before. I didn't recognize their name. Or anything and now I can click through to their profiles and I can you know hear them out and I can I can decide you know whether I want to favorite them or not uh, and again if I you know let's say I ended up this was from a, another demo where I had favorited Ian it's a good example um, but let's say I click on his profile and I want to hear from him and what he has to say we live across the street from an elementary school, but the district's assignment process doesn't care. Even though our schools are more segregated today than decades ago, many families have to drive across town every day to get to the best school they could get into, making traffic worse and impacting our jobs. We need to restore... So I lived in San Francisco for 20 years. I, we just moved up here to S Seattle last year. Um, and I can tell you that that's a real big issue. We used to... We had an elementary school down the street from us that we would walk by... Uh, to go another mile or two to get to our kids' school. So uh, that school choice system in San Francisco has been gamed you know, to incredible levels, um, and it's a real issue. But no one wants to talk about it because they're afraid to be branded a racist or something like that. So yeah, I would want to drill down and learn a little bit more about Ian and his positions um, you know, here. And I won't do it with this, but this will just give you an idea of being able to do it. I have a question. Did you know that we have a teacher shortage in San Francisco? If you were looking for a teacher, where would you go to find them? Um, and you know, with that, I can now favorite him here. And when I go back to my ballot, you know, I can see that he's there. And then I'm done with school board. So he doesn't have to spend any more money. He doesn't have to try to call me at night or put lawn signs around the neighborhood or have rallies or do anything like that in order to win my vote. You know, he's already done that. Um, so I can move on to the next race. Um, one of the other things about win my vote is that we include all of the state propositions so that you can manage all of those. So for example, Proposition 55 was a, a real big deal here. Um, I can click on that proposition. I can read the language. I can see a little one minute, you know, exp neutral explainer video. Prop 55 in one minute, taxes for education. 
Um, this always starts out as neutral. And by the way, this page is all redone as well on the new site. Um, but I can see groups and organizations that are supporting this proposition and groups and organizations and individuals that are uh, opposing this proposition. So I know of Ethan Behrman. I like him a lot. I listen to him on the radio show and now it's right here. I can see what he has to say about Proposition 55. When does temporary mean temporary? Well, it doesn't here in California when it comes to money and taxes. We passed Proposition 30 back in 2012, which was a board of education, a county board of education, and a district board of education. All other states have two. State level, district level. They I say absolutely no. By the way, I have kids in public schools in California. I want the best public schools. I still say no on Prop 55. Yeah, so with that, I'm going to agree with that. I'm going to say no on Proposition 55. I'm going to go back to my ballot. It's going to be nice prominent here of a no. Um, I can also see it's 13% in favor, 7% opposed, but there's still 80% of the people that are on Win My Vote that have yet to select a yes or no on this proposition, which is great information for both sides. Um, and I can then, you know, start sharing uh, this with my friends and saying, hey, you know, watch Ethan Behrman, add Ethan Behrman as a trusted source, you know, and he'll explain everything and you can, you know, choose uh, from there. Uh, but this is a way where you can really organize uh, your vote up and down the ballot. And like I said, Hillary can spend a billion dollars uh, and Jill Stein can spend one tenth of that. But as a voter, I can now compare them side by side and pick my favorite. And then I don't care how many robocalls or lawn signs I pass. I've already made my decision. Um, thanks. Would love to talk with you about this. Would love for you to be involved in it. We're also looking for funding um, for the upgraded site. I'm trying to stay away from hard partisan groups on either side and would love to get somebody um, you know, to invest that is, uh, you know, uh, more like you, that's, that, that wants to get money out of politics, not just money from the other side out of politics. Uh, anyway, thanks a lot.